Good evening and welcome to Hornet Park Elementary School. We're so glad you were able to come tonight and join us for our welcome night open house supply drop off. My name is Erin Probus and I'm the principal here at Hornet Park. Thanks for coming and enjoy the next few minutes with us here at school. Well, to begin this evening, let's talk about the special first day of school. Thursday, July 30th will be the first day for Hornet Park students. In the morning, you'll have three different options of getting your child to school. Our buses will be up and running that day and you're welcome to take advantage of our bus routes. At 7.50, they will pull in our parking lot. Adults will meet the children at the buses, escort them into the hallway, and hand deliver them to classes. So that's your first option, or is to ride the bus. Secondly, you're welcome to bring your child in your own car. You will notice in the morning on Thursday, the car rider line will form in the parking lot over at the high school. Um, there's a loop that comes along the side of our building, and every car is met by an adult. That adult takes your child gently and kindly into the school and escorts them to class um, personally, so everyone makes sure they're in the right spot that day. Your third option is if you would like to um, park at the community center parking lot, you're actually welcome to walk your child up to the front door. While parents are not allowed back um, into the school, we do welcome you to come all the way to our hug checkpoint. And really that's the last possible step you can take with your child. You can give them one final squeeze and tell them you love them and send them in for a wonderful first day of school. I will be at the hug checkpoint and will be glad to meet you that morning. So again, we have three options that first day of school. You can do the buses, car rider, or walk up to the hug checkpoint. But if you utilize the hug checkpoint, please be sure to park in the community center parking lot. For the first day of school, it's very important for kindergarten parents to know and understand that we have a shortened day only for our kindergarten students. That shortened first day gives us an opportunity to practice afternoon dismissal without the first graders. So kindergartners on Thursday, July 30th, will start at our normal time. We will begin accepting children in at 7.50, and we want everyone in by 8.10. We will go to class, have a fantastic morning, eat a delicious lunch, and in the afternoon at 1.10, we will begin dismissal. So the car rider line in the afternoon will open at 1.10, and we will begin the dismissal process for our buses at that time as well. Our hope is that all kindergarten students will be um, dismissed by 1.30 only on Thursday, July 30th. That just gives them one practice run without the first graders. Now for first grade on that first day of school, they're the big kids. They're ready to try a full day the first day. So Thursday, July 30th for first grade students, we open the doors at 7.50. We want everyone in class by 8.10 and they will go until we begin dismissal at 2.30. Our goal is to have all of our first graders dismissed successfully by 245. So again, kindergarten only on Thursday the 30th, early dismissal beginning at 110, hopefully over by 130. First grade, a full day the first day, beginning dismissal at 230, hopefully done by 245. That first day we do ask, and really the first few days, for afternoon dismissal, please just exercise patience and understand that we're training these sweet first graders and kindergartners on exactly what to do and where to go. So it might take a little longer the first few days, but we'll get them there. Thank you. Now the second day of school is Friday, and that will be a normal day for everyone, kindergarten and first. Again, we'll open the doors 7.50, want our children to class by 8.10, and we will begin dismissal at 2.30, hopefully wrapped up by 2.45. Again, remembering to exercise patients in the afternoon with our bus routes and our car rider lines. There are a few really important pieces of information regarding afternoon transportation that I'd like for you to know and understand. Our bus riding students will come to school and head home each day with two ways that we help identify their bus route. First, you'll see a rubber bracelet and students will have a backpack tag. So we're asking your help with this. Please make sure when you send your child to school each day that he or she is wearing their color-coded bus, bus bracelet and this bus tag will be on their backpack. This just helps us in sorting the children efficiently and effectively to make sure they're all on the right bus at the right time. So each morning, please check to make sure your child's wearing a bracelet and has the tag on their backpack. We'll do that for probably a couple of weeks. So please hang in there with us as we help the children remember their bus. 
In regards to car riders, on the first day of school, your child, um, as a car rider, will be bringing home a car rider tag. Please display this from your rear view mirror. Without the car rider tag, you will not be able to pick your child up in the car rider line. So let's say you forget or um, you didn't have it um, hanging on the rear view mirror. All you'll need to do is loop around and come into our office and check in with your photo ID and we'll take care of you there. It does take longer um, to come into the office because we won't, um, we won't have children come to the office until the end of dismissal. Um, so please hop in the car rider line with your car tag. Thank you. Well, we've talked about the first two days of school, and now let's just talk about normal life at Hornet Park. One incredibly important aspect to us and to you as a family is knowing that your children are safe and secure while they're here with us at Hornet Park. And I can tell you we've gone to um, very thorough measures to make sure your child is safe. So in regards to security, there are a few pieces I want you to know and understand as you begin coming to Hornet Park. The first thing you will notice is if ever you come to the office, perhaps to pick up your child if he or she is sick, or to drop off a birthday tree, or to stop by for any reason, you will always need your photo ID. What you'll do is you walk up to the front door and you'll notice there it looks like a doorbell. Um, and we have a video surveillance system with a buzzer program. And so you'll come up, buzz to our front office secretary, she will communicate with you and you'll show your photo ID and at that time only will you be permitted in the building. And please understand that that is never to frustrate you or inconvenience you, but instead just be sure um, that we are providing the safest, most secure environment for your little one. So we ask that just a rule of thumb, you're always bringing that photo ID with you to Hornet Park and patiently using our security system. Additionally, one, another layer of support um, with our safety and security is regretfully there are no um, options to have lunch visitors here at Hornet Park. I know that is a bummer for many of us and so we're sorry about that but it is just another layer of safety and security. If you're interested in having lunch with your child you are always welcome to come during their lunch period, sign them out, go get a bite to eat and as long as you're back during their lunch period um, and in time for them to head back to class it doesn't count against their attendance. So uh, we're hopeful um, that understanding those layers of security will help you feel more confident that your child is safe and happy each day at Hornet Park. Thank you for giving me a few minutes of your time this evening to talk about school-wide plans and procedures for those first few days of school. Now, in your child's classroom, your classroom teacher is going to spend a few minutes explaining what typical life in that class is going to be like, what you can expect as a parent, and how to communicate effectively if you have questions, concerns, or just need to talk. Thank you so much for coming tonight. We are thrilled that Thursday is the first day of school. We already are excited to greet your child, take good care of them, teach them the skills they need to know to be successful, and love them each and every day. Thank you for the privilege of sharing your child with us. If we can be of any service to you, please call the office, stop by and see us, or send us an email. Have a wonderful evening, and we'll see you on Thursday for the first day of school.